Hello, welcome back. It's Outline Man, and today we're here to talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! Early Days. Yes, I know about the collection. Everyone's been telling me about this collection. And now we're finally here to talk to, I mean talk about it, with this drumstick in my hand. So, anyway, here we are, Yu-Gi-Oh! Early Days Collection. So, this collection finally came. We about to finally get these games coming back. I didn't think we were ever going to see them, to be honest. So, if we scroll down right now, you can pre-order this game now. It's coming out worldwide. Everybody's going to be able to get a hold of this one. So, if you want to get your pre-order on, go ahead and pre-order. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till a release date comes in. They ain't even say when it comes out. And so far, there's only two games that's announced to be in there. So, we're going to get into that. Let's get to it. Okay, so the first game we got going out here, we got Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual Monsters number four. So, now, we never got Dual Monsters number four. Uh, Dual Monsters four was kind of interesting, like... They did something kind of crazy in this one where they gave you three different campaigns. So I'm going to scroll down to that. So yeah, we got Yugi's campaign. And then we got Kaiba's campaign over there. And then we got Joey's campaign over there. So you can go ahead and pick one of them. In this game, they kind of basically give you an Egyptian God card. That was kind of the gimmick of this one. They're like, all right, we're going to go up to Merrick and we're going to give you an Egyptian God card. So in this one, they'll give Yugi... Sly for the Sky Dragon, I would imagine. Kaiba, he gets Obelisk, the Tormentor, and Joey gets Wing Dragon Raw. So I don't know why Joey has Wing Dragon Raw, because that don't make no sense, but whatever. He got Wing Dragon Raw. Forget about it. Anyway, you will pick one of them, and then you'll go ahead and go through their campaign with their particular deck. I don't know how that works. I've never played this game. In the West, what we got instead of this was another game. So yeah, the next game in the series will be the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters six which is another game we never got it just stayed in japan and they just kept it in japan so this is the other confirmed game we got so if you play there's another game that's very similar to we'll cover that a little bit later but as far as this game goes it basically plays similar to eternal soul if you ever played that one or some people played stairway the worldwide stairway whatever you call it that game anyway i played one of those games i ain't never played this one though so this would be a new, this is kind of like the game that comes after Eternal Soul. Because we got that in English, they got this in Japanese. So, so far we have four and we have six. Those games are confirmed. So now, we're going to get to the next part of the video where we're going to talk about our speculations for what else is coming in this, you know, collection or whatever. So as far as the games that's coming, I'm assuming they're going to do Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters 1 through 8, I would imagine. So, this is the first game that came out. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters. I have not played this game, by the way. So, this is the first one. I believe this is probably on, like, the Game Boy. Uh, it says it on there. It says it on the Game Boy. So, this game was rough. It, it was very rough. It, this game probably sucks. And I think it's in black and white. So, we're going to scroll down. We're going to take a look at it right now. Yeah, this game is straight up in black and white. So, you got Stage 1, Yugi Moto, Stage 2, Tristan. So, it, it's the regular cast. And then they start introducing those other guys up in here. People that you will recognize to be in this odd series where we start getting where we start getting people like Simon up in there. I don't, Simon, this is his first time showing up. I don't know who Simon is, but he in all these weird old Yu-Gi-Oh games. So, they're probably going to give us the Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Monsters 1. It, it might happen. It'll be weird if it happens, but it might happen. You might play it. You might enjoy it. Your mileage may vary. So, obviously, since we're going on with this trend, we're going to look at Duel Monsters number two. So, here's Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters 2. This game is the sequel to Duel Monsters 1. I've never played this one either. It makes some improvements, but not many, I guess. We have a little bit of something like this in the West, but Duel Monsters 2... Dark Duel Stories, they call it, but we didn't get this, is pretty much the sequel to that, and it added a little bit of weird mechanics and everything. So let's get to the next bet. So we're at Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Duel Stories now. This is basically Yu-Gi-Oh! 3. This is what we got, which was kind of like a mix of 2 and 3, and they just gave us this game instead for some reason, called it Dark Duel Stories, put it on the Game Boy Color, and just gave it to us and said, let's call it a day. So... You might have played this game. You can play this game. I've played this game. I didn't know what was going on when I played this game as a kid, but I played it before. It's you, you basically go through the things. I think this game had a new mechanic too, where you can like create cards. 
but the cards that they let you create were kind of bogus. So you can create them, but they kind of suck. But then if you got good at creating them, you can create better cards than the cards they gave you. And you can take out a whole bunch of enemies, but these enemies were hard in Dark Duel Stories. Dark Duel Stories was dark because this game was hard. Anyway, our next one, we'll skip right over four since we know four is confirmed. And we're going to look at five. So for the fifth Yu-Gi-Oh game, Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Monsters number five, I'm just going to show you Eternal Soul because it's not exactly verbatim, but this is pretty much the game that we got in its place. So, Eternal Soul, if you played this game before, you probably know what to expect with Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters number 5. It's going to be similar, if not exactly the same, but it's going to be very close to this. So, we've played 3 and we've played 5, if you've played them, and we did not have access to 4 or 6. So, now, let's get to the plot twist of the video. Our next hot takes of the speculation will be Duel Monsters 7, which... You may have played this game. So here goes Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monster 7, which we know as Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards. That's why it has the rules that's reminiscent to Dark Duel Stories, if you're noticing this. For whatever reason, Eternal Soul and 6, they just, they had regular Yu-Gi-Oh! rules. And then here we went back to this nonsense. And But Sacred Cards did kind of follow like the Battle City Tournament arc, but it seemed like they always follow Merrick. They get up to Merrick and then they quit every single time. But yeah, this game features just the Battle City arc, and then they just get right up out of there. You have access to play this game, because we got this game in the West, and it's known as Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards. Um, I'm going to go down and show what it looks like a little bit. It looks like that, the kid with the orange hat. There you go. That That's how he is on Sacred Cards. Enough said. Anyway, let's move on to our last pick for Duel Monsters 8, the game they call The Dark Souls of Yu-Gi-Oh! Here we are with the hardest Yu-Gi-Oh game ever. Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Monsters number eight, Rashifa Destruction. This has to be the last game in the collection if we're playing like the handheld games. We didn't even get on to like the console games, but I'm pretty sure they're probably just gonna do the handheld games at best. And hopefully they cap it off on Rashifa Destruction. If we can get Rashifa Destruction, y'all can lose on the final game of this collection and it'll be great. So anyway, that's my theories of what we're going to get. I think we're going to get Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And they might not call it this, but they we will know it as Rashifa Destruction for 8. We will know 7 as Sacred Cards. We will know 5 as Eternal Duelist. And we will know 3 as Dark Duel Stories. And this is pretty much what we have to expect. So I'm going to go back to... Um, Round it off and show you the two games in the collection one more time. And we're going to finish up thoughts and we're going to be done here. And so in closing, we have the two confirmed games for sure. These better be for sure. If they lie to us, that'll be odd. But anyway, we got Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters 4. And we got Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters 6. Pretend to stick going over there. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters 6. So we're going to get these two games for sure. I'm, I'm excited to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters 4 because I like the idea of three different campaigns. That's going to be cool. I'm not too excited to play six, but hey, we, we'll take what we can get. Hopefully we can get the other six games in the collection and that can be a start. And hopefully over time we get more Yu-Gi-Oh! games and everything too. Hopefully they make a little bit of quality in life and ch changes and everything. Make this accessible so people can actually play it without struggling, but... That's the collection to what we know right now. We don't have much information. This is all the information I have. And you saw my speculation, but this is what we confirmed. Four and six. So hope for the best. Prepare for four and six. And that's pretty much what we have to look forward to. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. And oh yeah, shout out to um, Eclipse for uh, commenting that I need to get onto these Yu-Gi-Oh games and telling me that this collection actually happens that's great so now we got this collection and we are ready to play some old school Yu-Gi-Oh! legitimately you can play it on the switch you can pick it up on the pc i think that's it for right now for whatever reason this is not on the playstation i have no idea if this is coming to the playstation later or not probably but for the worldwide release you're gonna get it on the switch or the pc and you can pre-order it now for some reason and it says it's like 50 bucks or so so hopefully it got all eight games, because if it just got two old games and it's 50 bucks, 
I'm going to say don't even buy that. But support these games. Hopefully they give you the whole collection. If it's if it's the eight games, it's worth it. If it's not the eight games, well, we'll see. So let me know what you think. I might talk about the console games, but I'm pretty sure that they might just do the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games, and they'll call it a day. So anyway, we got Yu-Gi-Oh! games coming. Old ones that we know are reliable and that work. Hopefully they don't come with no glitches, and we good. Anyway, I'm Outline Man, and I'm out.